All right, great. So welcome everyone. It is the 12th of April, uh, 2024. It is, uh, we're into the end of week, day five, week zero in cohort B. Really happy to have everyone here with us for the last day of the week zero training selection process. Um, today is our last day of the, oh, hi, Mikias. Um, yeah, just my, just Arun is fine. No, no, Mr. Sir, ma'am, nothing like that. Just, uh, just first names are fine here because when you get to work, then normally you refer to your colleagues and your managers and whoever else just by first name. Um, yeah, so today we're going to have a set of our usual sort of schedule. We have our morning stand up community building session, two tutorials, independent challenge work, and then we have our hand in. And we are on track to release the leaderboard uh, by end of day today. Um, if there's a delay, we'll let you know, but we're aiming to get that done by end of day today. What we wanted to do is to try and stick within the half hour, just to go around the room briefly to hear how everyone is doing, um, how yesterday was, any plans for today, and any blockers. <clears throat> um, I would especially like to know for people who didn't hand in yesterday's assignment, what's uh, you know, that could be a block or two, what was preventing people from handing in. Um, in terms of other announcements, really happy to see that there, the day four channel became a lot more active, a lot of questions coming out. Um, I think the responses back from the community were coming back pretty quickly, so happy to hear that. So let's go around the room. Um, before that, are there any announcements from anyone else on the team? From anyone on the team, anyone want to make an announcement? Otherwise, we'll go straight into the stand-up. Again, we want to make yes. it 30 seconds or less. Pass yes. Go ahead. A quick announcement. With the careers challenge, which submission deadline was supposed to be tomorrow on Saturday, it has shifted today for you to be able to see your leaderboard with full marks tomorrow. So to those who haven't read it on Slack, now uh, I believe it's clear. So submission is today, 8 p.m. UTC. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so guys, all the submissions are due today. Is that right? Anyone yeah. not clear? Yeah. Rodos, go ahead. Yeah, we have our final submissions for both technical and careers today. And even if you aren't like doing well in the past the variables, make sure to submit the ones we have today because it uh, constitutes 50% of the overall submission. So yeah, make sure to submit today as well. Yeah. Okay, wonderful guys. So what we've heard is that uh, the overall leaderboard ranks is going to be heavily influenced by what we submit today. Um, I just want to recap a couple of things that we've said before, but I'm going to say it again. One, we want everyone to be there. Uh, we want to admit every single person who's made it this far in the training or in the selection process. Number two, um, we're not expecting you to get everything done. We know that there's a lot, it's pretty heavy, and uh, yeah, there's a lot to get done. Number three, um, you can uh, get a lot done and probably more than you expect. 8 p.m. is a long way away and the community is there to help. So let's jump into the stand up. Um, let's use the hand sort of hand motions. I'm going to do my best to keep the journey to a minimum. Uh, I can't promise. That. I think that was one of the requests I've heard, but um, I need to I need to keep myself uh, smiling and telling myself jokes is a good way to do that. So let's use the hands. So who wants to go first? We should be able to get through everyone. Yeah, Abu Bakr. Uh, hello. <coughs> yes, you are. Okay, so uh, yesterday was a uh, rather uh, busy day for me. Uh, had uh, uh, I had some uh, good outcomes, uh, but also some bad ones. Uh, for example, uh, uh, when training a model to find a topic like clustering and everything, uh, my PC took a long time <laughs> to actually do it, and I had to move to a collab environment, or I had to wait for it. And uh, also when that is solved uh, my pc's uh, storage run out so i had to delete and restructure some other things so those are those were the blockers for me 
for yesterday. So I think today uh, I will finish up on the front end and the back end, I guess. Excellent. Okay. Are you optimistic that you're going to get everything done, Abu Bakr? Uh, not everything, but uh, I will try to do everything, but the bare minimum essentials would be there, okay. I guess. Okay. Maybe a, a same question in a different way. Are you satisfied with uh, the amount of work you got done this week? Uh, to be honest, is I didn't think I will get this all done uh, from the start of the week, but seeing back at it right now, uh, it's it's kind of a lot. <laughs> I yeah. didn't think I would do it in a week exactly. or less. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Okay, and Joki. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Good morning. Yesterday, my PC crashed, mm -hmm. and I had to replace the hard disk. So I didn't, I didn't submit, and I did join the two learning sessions. I joined the first one for a few minutes, and then it, that's when it crashed. The one, the first learning session, the morning one. So I didn't complete. I didn't even submit the three-day report, the three-page reports. Uh, today I'll be catching up on everything I should have done yesterday because I'm set up, mm -hmm. and also I'll I'll complete task two because that's as far as it got in before mm -hmm. all that happened. Okay, great, Joki. Keep doing what you're doing to catch up. I think we're that's that's really a good sign that you had this hardware problem and you're able to catch back up. So happy to hear that. I know it sound, may feel like negative progress, but it actually sounds quite positive. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Sheila. Um, hi, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so on my progress on what I have been I have done so far, um, I was having a little I was having a blocker on um on trying to match trying to integrate both my GitHub and my Git repository my local PC repositories. Yesterday, um, we had uh, an all female meeting. An all women meeting, sorry, and I was able to get guidance on what to do. So because I saw like debugging it will take a lot of time, I I created a new repository and I'm working on it, and I was able to figure out everything, transfer my documents, and work on the codes. Currently, I'm on task two. I'm making progress. I've already made um my test my test Python code, and yeah, I'm progressing on well. Yeah, thank you. Okay, great. Um, Martin? Martin, are you able to speak? Otherwise, we'll go to Hillary. Um, good morning, everyone. Morning, um, Hillary. I played um, your song at the start, but then, uh, yeah, then I switched over. No one was there. Oh, um, I, I didn't know where to where you were playing it. Um, yeah, yeah, no problem. It's not. It wasn't mandatory to show up, but just letting you know. Thanks for the suggestion. Yeah, thank thank you for that. Um, for for me, um, from yesterday, I I managed to complete just one, two, and and I started on task three. Uh, that was the yesterday session for post for Postgres and that database. So I managed to uh, design a schema, but the blocker for me is uh, running the Postgres uh, connection. That I encountered that today, uh, but um, I, I'm yet to figure out. And if I don't, I'll, I'll ask it in Slack. And moving on, um, I'm hoping to get done the, the task four and five. Uh, that is the uh, backend, front end uh, by React and uh, the the dashboard designs and wireframe. Also, the the idea presentation that is needed today. I'll hopefully I'll manage to get that done. Thank you. Okay, how's your optimism, Hillary? Uh, for me, uh, my I'm so optimistic because um, I'm I'm learning so much at a uh, faster rate. Uh, uh, despite the challenges, uh, I, I'm I'm not able to understand everything completely, but at least I can move on and see my code running somehow and get a few insights 
in terms of yeah. chemistry. That's great. I mean, remember, this is much faster uh, than we expect. I think I can't remember the analogy we used yesterday, but this is much faster than we're expecting. Um, yeah, this is sort of the sprint, and we're gonna, as you, your name is Kip Kemoy, and I guess you're familiar with Kipchoge. We're gonna be running into, uh, we're gonna be going to marathon pace, like, um, so we're going from sprinting to marathon. So that'll happen from next week. So we're not expecting everyone to be, uh, I guess Mr. Kipchoge is also not uh, ready to be sprinting for 42 kilometers at a time. So we're gonna be slowing down. Great, uh, Daisy. And for everyone else, we want everyone to speak. So please, I'd like to see a queue of hands in the queue function. Uh, good morning, everyone. Morning. Yesterday, I worked on task two. I, would, I performed the keyword extraction in topic modeling. And today, I have started working on task three. I am currently working, I'm designing the schema. Yeah, I'm hoping to finish task three as three today and also do the career challenge and the medium post, yes. Okay, how's your optimism, Daisy? Uh, I, I think I'll be able to finish as three and have submissions for today. But how's your optimism a little bit more broadly? Are you feeling good about uh, how you spent the week? Yes, yes, uh, it's begun quite challenging, but now I, I have eased into it and I am looking forward to the rest of the training. Are you looking forward to move from sprinting to marathon? Yes, definitely. Okay, I'm not going to bring up the Ethiopian Kenyan marathon rivalry <laughs> right now. We have time for that uh, through the training. We'll see <laughs> who's faster. I think the Ethiopian women are doing better right now, but maybe the Kenyan men are doing better on the men's side. Okay, uh, Salamut. Uh, so long with might have dropped off. Guys, we'd like to have everyone speak. I don't really want to call on names, but I can. So I'm going to do that. We're going to go with Gilbert and then Jolly. And uh, okay. yeah, who's that? Is it audible? Yeah, you're back now. Okay, go ahead, Salama. I meant to open my mic and accidentally dropped my hand. Okay, hi. Go ahead. Okay, so yesterday I was working on tasks two and three, and um, I'm I guess like I was able to accomplish half of task two. Some of it was um, I was going through some bugs. Bugs being the libraries were not working on my computer because maybe I was using VS Code. Uh, I was having problems with that. Other than that, the task three is given setting up the Postgres. That I've done that as well. And so we took a review, a bit of review. And today I'm going to try and finish up on task two as well and then work on four and five. Yeah. Okay. Sounds great. How's your optimism, Salamat? Honestly, I'm, <laughs> it's a lot. So I'm trying to you know, finish up because it's the last day. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Okay. Great. Abdul Rahman. Hello, good morning, everyone. Sabal khair. Sabah noor. Nice with you, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> now, now I look like I'm from Compton, right? <laughs> you are hacker now. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yesterday, I submitted uh, my report. Uh, I'm not 100% satisfied about it, but uh, at least I meet the deadline. Uh, this morning I'm working on uh, uh, task two. So I'm kind of optimistic that I can uh, submit uh, something good uh, today. Excellent. OK. That's good to hear. Thank you. Let, let's keep going. I'm going to call on people. So let's go to Abdul Salam Fatai. And then after that, uh, we will go to Jolly, so let's get two two people from Nigeria first of all. Yeah, hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, so the uh, the training have been awesome so far. I've been like I've been able to submit uh, the task for all days, and currently 
I'm having some challenges regarding tax uh, tax two, in the sense that I'm finding it difficult, you know, installing some modules basically. But I'm currently working on it, and, and I'm seeking uh, assistance on using different resources online. And hopefully, I believe I should be able to source it out before the end of today. Yeah. Have you asked in the Slack group, or have you have you reached out to any of the tutors? Not yet. I, I want to put in my own personal efforts before I, I put it out there. Okay. I mean, I would encourage you to do both because remember that, uh, you know, this is a time-limited thing. So, yeah, you might you might need to take the shortcut solution uh, for now. Yeah, sure. I, I, I'm going to do that immediately after this call. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That sounds uh, good. How is how's your optimism uh, of this lump? Yeah, it's it's really a good one for me because you know it has. Uh, I've never been so busy on on project like this. I've been you know I've been putting in a lot of efforts in order to you know meet up with the uh, project requirements. And I mean, it's a good one for me, and it's you know boosting my energy, and I'm anticipating for the next part of this project. Excellent. So now you're ready to have triplets, to have three babies at a time. If you can get through this, you can have. Yeah. <laughs> OK. All right. Uh, let's go to Jolly and then to Nyamusa. Nyamusi, I'm sorry. Jolly, are you there? Jolly, are you there? Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. So um, yesterday, uh, I didn't do much, but I was trying to set up my um finish my reports but i had power issues so i was basically online offline so i had to sort it out yesterday so i was even unable to submit my reports because my power was off so i just you can, put still, submit you can still submit now okay i will do just that Okay, and your plan for today? So you need so to catch up. So what's your plan to catch up? Yeah, um, for today, I'm working on my tax tool because I, um, before my power went up, I was trying to get more deep understanding on the concept of tax tool. So I'll be working on tax tool today. So that's what I will do. Can I ask everyone a question? Maybe we can show of can. hands. Um, how many people would like a little bit of extra time to keep working? So the submission today, maybe we can use the emoji reaction so I don't get confused with the hands up. Maybe you can use, uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, now it's doing this like explosion thing, so it's a bit hard. Okay. Okay. Um, so I think guys, remember this is, it would be great to hear from you. If that's something everyone wanted, then it would have been, everyone could have mentioned that. Um, let us, let us have a think about it, and then we'll come back to you on Slack. I think we need to find the right balance of organizing, keeping to schedule, but also giving people enough time to finish, um, recognizing that we lost Wednesday or Wednesday was a holiday. So we'll come back to you guys on that. What I'm hearing from the group is that everyone is working hard, and it sounds to me like maybe an extra day would be, uh, would be really helpful. So, Mr. Uh, good question. We're going to be posting the late policy. We we alternate between um, giving a bonus to on-time people versus penalizing people who are late. And it, every batch is a little bit different. Uh, some batches react better to um, giving a bonus to on-time submissions, and some batches react better to penalizing late submissions. One of the things that we will be doing very, very soon, right? Maybe not in the first week, but we will start to force you to submit on time because, and the major reason is we want you to take a break. What we saw is that afterwards people, they don't finish and then they're working through, uh, normally submissions are, are Saturday afternoon, then they start working on Sunday, they work until Monday uh, early morning, and then they start the next week works fine for one week, two weeks, but by the third week, people are exhausted. So we will start forcing you to submit on time, but uh, we're not sure yet if we're going to start doing that right now. So we'll come back to you on both the late policy as well as whether we can extend the submission deadline by a little bit and then uh, commensurately have the leaderboard uh, come out a little bit later. Okay, uh, thanks for that. So let's go to Nyamusi. 
Good morning. Can Good. you hear me? Yeah, very well. Thanks. Um, all right. My first time checking here. I'm excited about that. So on yesterday, I was able to complete task two, task one and two. And right now I'm working on task three. And uh, that's a blocker that I'm having is uh, loading the data into the database, but I'm working on it. Yeah. Okay. Have you reached out for help on that MOC? Not yet, but I was planning to after the meeting. Okay. Please do reach out for help. It's not a, it doesn't take anything away from you um, if you do reach out for help. So please do that. So Saluddin. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. Um, I was enjoying every bit of the class we started. So, um, my major block was that um, at the first stage, I was stuck at the as creating a virtual environment and linking it with my GitHub. So that was one of my major problems from the beginning. So from the day you know advised us to start asking questions generally on Slack, uh, on Slack that we shouldn't be going to YouTube and the learning from YouTube all the time. So. I took on the corridor now and I started asking questions on Slack. So since then, I've been making a huge progress. And again, um, I'm about to complete the the fourth stage now, and the first task. So I'm still working at and I'm optimistic that I might not complete all the tasks, but at least I will, I will complete it to some extent. Excellent. And so you feel like you're learning. That's what I'm hearing. Yes, I'm learning very much. I think I think Saluddin made an important point. I think going to YouTube to learn by one or him or herself, it's a very individualistic style of learning. We're what we want to bring a cohort level learning where everyone learns together. And that's part of the reason we want to, uh, if this was an in-person training, then what we want is everyone is sitting on their laptops in the same room. And if you don't know what to do, you sort of shout out like, hey guys, has anyone figured this out? You go stand beside the person, the person comes to you, you sort it out together, you go back to your laptops. <clears throat> we don't have that in-person environment, but we do have a good chat environment. So that cohort level learning where you know where people are at, you know who to go and ask to for ask for help. But most importantly, if you get stuck, you can just be like, can somebody help me? And you're sort of overwhelmed with answers. And I've seen that on Slack yesterday is great, right? People are getting answers in less than a minute. And that's where learning becomes fun. It's very hard to go to YouTube and just kind of look around and be like, whatever answer I'm going to get, I'm going to get. But we want to get to you ask humans for help and you get humans uh, responding. Nana is fine, but uh, I think people are better than Nana. Uh, I think Salamut, we heard from already. I don't know if you want to speak again, Salamut. No. Okay. What, uh, Martin? Are you able to speak now? Good morning. Yeah. Are you able to speak now? Yeah. yeah. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. You, uh, you sound like the BBC. You, you sound like the BBC. <laughs> you have such a radio you voice. Have such I'm a impressed. Radio voice. I'm impressed. Yeah. Yes, it was what the really... current time is in Nairobi, Kenya. Time is in Nairobi, Kenya. Oh, <laughs> I think it's uh, it's eleven, but I'm not in Nairobi though. It's oh, eleven. So, oh, time read, where are you? Time read, where are you? I'm in Kampala. Ah, oh, you're in Kampala. Oh, you're in Kampala. Oh, you're in Kampala. The current time in Kampala at the beep is. The current time in Kampala is uh, eleven twenty-five a.m. Oh. <laughs> uh, can I buy some? So, advertising can I buy some advertising space? <laughs> <laughs> So yesterday was really, really frustrating for me, really frustrating for me because uh, I was having uh, my machine kept on crashing consecutively. And then I had, um, I had a blackout. I didn't have electricity for, I think, almost a whole day. And then I think it, it was back by midnight. So I haven't, I haven't slept. I've been working since midnight till I think I slept for about 
probably like um, three to four hours, around 4 a.m. till 8. Then I got up to continue working on what I was working on. Uh, I was working on task two yesterday, but I, I understand the concepts, but I'm keep, I keep getting a lot of errors. Uh, I keep getting a lot of errors, so I decided to move on to task three because I have worked with um, uh, SQL a bit, so I, I understand certain concepts better. So I moved on to task three, so I'm working on task three. I was just so I was just unable to submit my 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 report because I, the light went off. Yeah, but I've uh, I've completed the the report. I'm just, I'm going to submit it today as well as I'm working on task three. Yes. So so that sounds like you're grinding. I'm really happy to hear that. It doesn't sound uh, easy, but um, that's that's part of the. I think that's part of it. That's, I think the computer crashing is there something you can fix that. Uh, something you can, can do to fix that longer term. That, uh, something you can do to fix that longer term. Yes, 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 yes. I'm, I'm probably going to get a new one. I'm just going to probably get a new one so that yeah so that it uh, i don't get keep getting that issue is there something a way that you can is get there help something on task two? a way that you can get help on task two yes yes I'm, I'm going to i'm going to i'm going to text hit up hit up a few people in the chat and uh, get to understand certain concepts in the group, uh, in the group chat i'm having in the group, in the group chat. yes in the group chat that's the plan but uh, i realized that uh, since uh, yesterday we had a stand up and and uh, you say that at some point um, if something is not working just move on to something else and then you get back to that later Fair so enough. i decided yeah. to you know yeah, let yeah. me yeah, let me not waste let me not waste a lot of time on task 2 let me just move on to task 3 and then when i get when i get help i'll get back to it so that's what i decided to do because I think the first few days I wasted a lot of time on uh, that Git process and uh, task one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I decided, let me try to, if I get an issue, I can pause, I leave that, move on to something else. And then when I get help, I get back to it. So yeah. And if we move the been, final submission deadline back by 24 hours, and deadline would back by 24 hours, would that be enough time for you to submit something that you feel good about? Yes. Yes, okay. definitely. Okay. Thank you. We'll come back to you guys. Uh, anyone else? We have time for two last uh, two last people to stand up. All right, we have Salam and last person who wants to go last. All right, I'm going to call on somebody. I'm going to call on. Sounds like a Cameroonian name to me. Uh, he was here. Maybe he's not here anymore. Um, who wants to go last? Hanok. Okay. All right. Salam and then Hanok. Then we'll wrap up. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, so yesterday, I was uh, a little bit shocked when the results came. Uh, I got zero on task one, uh, and I looked at it, and I guess there was a problem on the CI CD part, and I fixed that, and we submit the link, and uh, I left a private comment and uh, sent an email to Rodas as well, and I haven't gotten any reply. Mm -hmm. um, but I moved on to task two and uh, completed that and submit uh, and submit the report. Okay. Great. So I think that's the right thing to do. Remember, guys, we're also uh, in permanent beta in that we keep learning as we go. So we will, I'm not just saying we may, we will get some stuff wrong. So Salam, that's the right thing to do. Uh, fix what has to be fixed. Uh, ask, ping somebody, Rodas in this case, uh, to have a look at it. And we will regrade it and we will come back to you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Any blocker, any major blockers for today, Salam? Uh, not really. Okay. All right, sounds good. Hanok? Okay, hello, how are you guys? Good. Okay, so uh, yesterday I spent most of the day uh, writing the three page report. Uh, it took a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, so, that's what was your the approach? Which approach did you use to write the report? 
Uh, well, my first approach was uh, to just uh, gain a, like a whole understanding of the project, like the idea of the project. Uh, and then I focused on the specific tasks that I did. So I wrote, uh, I wrote about that, like the questions I answered and also uh, a few challenges that I faced. It took, and how many hours did you spend writing this report, more or less? About, about four hours. That was the whole day? Yeah, four hours it took me. Four hours, I didn't think it would take me that long, but it But took that's me not four the whole hours. day. I mean, that's why we're no. saying we're, we're expecting to people, we're expecting you to spend a lot more time than four hours working during the training. Yeah. No, no, I, I worked more than that. Uh, ah, when like you said the, the whole day, I, I, I thought really from eight till... Yeah, uh, I meant like the the evening part, like in the beginning I attended all the meetings. Yeah. There were uh, three meetings, I attended all of them, so those took three hours. I also uh, participated in the community uh, engagement, so that's another. So that's eight hours altogether, and I also spent a little bit of time working on task two, so... I think I sp okay. I worked over ten hours last so Perfect. Okay. yesterday. You should be able to get the report done in about an hour or an hour and a half. So I hope by the end of the training we get there. Um, I think getting approaching it in a not in a non-linear way, um, starting with the structure and then deciding which uh, how to break. Getting the structure right, in my opinion, is seventy percent of the work. Yeah, I think I think I made a mistake in that one. Uh, I, yeah, I listen, started. We're here to we're here to learn, right? And that's where when you, in the same way, when you give your team or your manager an update when you're working, getting the structure of that update right is, I think, it's more than half the value as opposed to the content. If you get the structure right, then you even in a couple of bullet points, you can get uh, the majority of information through. Okay. Thank. You. Yeah. So, Hermias, yeah, the structure. So, what are we trying to say? What are the different headings? Um, how do we organize those headings? Getting that right is super important. Like, imagine if, uh, I don't know, you, you go home, you haven't seen your, uh, your uncle for five years, and your uncle's like, you know, what have you been up to? If you give your uncle, like, a linear view of this is what I did every single day for the last five years, it's going to take you a long time. Your uncle doesn't care what you had for dinner on day uh, day four, year two. But figuring out what is the key information that you want to transmit and uh, organizing that information and also the hierarchy of information, those things uh, are really important. When you, the more important the person that you speak to, the more succinct, the more short, the more condensed you need to make that information. And I believe that as most of you will be working remotely, if you master this ability to communicate information and also to extract information, you will go a long way in your career. Um, anyone who believes that just by being a master coder, um, a master coder will lead to long-term career success, my opinion is that uh, your technology skills are half or less than half of your eventual value. Your ability to communicate and to ingest and digest information is at least half and more than half. So we will work on this, Hermias, but getting the ability to understand the appropriate structure and the prioritization of information within that structure is really important. No, we haven't covered this one yet. Um, yeah, I, I think we're going to spend more time. This is where throughout the training we're going to spend about uh, i mean the, the technical uh you will spend more time on the technology we will have career tutorials throughout and then we will have more time in the second uh, part of the training the supported job search phase to spend a little bit more time on the these career skills but we won't, we have embedded it in the trainings as well this is why for example we ask you to write a report because you do need to practice but that's that's one of the things where I'd be happy if there's any questions or how what's the best way to approach it, then you guys can always reach out to uh, to Pascaline or to me or to anyone else. Yeah, uh, Hermione, go ahead. Okay, hey guys. So uh, about the structure, uh, as I told you on the comment, I came up with mine. 
based yeah. on the question or the delivers on the documents. And the way I went through it is I, I had an introduction section that, that talks about the whole uh the whole thing did uh, within this week and then i went to the uh let me see the documents right so next i i'm sorry let me open the document yeah uh so the way I approach it is given an introduction first, then uh, I sectioned it in three, learning curve, key insight, and uh, practical implementation. So on the learning curve, uh, I put all the information in the tech stacks and the tools that we had to learn uh, throughout, the, throughout the project. And on the second section, the key insights I took from every, uh, every learning curve. And the third one is the practical implementation. I try to clarify it, uh, a little bit about the thing we uh, implemented on, uh, like practically, based on the learning and the key insights I got. And I wrapped up as a conclusion. What do you think about the this kind of structure? Yeah, I just had a look at your document. I think it's solid. Um, if you had more time, there's a couple of things that I would add. I think diagrams are always helpful so that somebody who has, when they first jump into it, they have an idea in a diagram of the approach that you took. So that's one. Uh, and these are just improvements, right? And given the amount of time that you had, I think you did a super job. But uh, improvements would be one is adding a diagram so you can skim, uh, you have an understanding of where everything fits together. The second is putting together a one paragraph summary at the top the so-called uh, executive summary for people who really don't have time to read, that we can see in the executive summary everything that's happening. Um, yeah, I think I would maybe, yeah, I mean, those are those are two things that come to mind right away. You used bullet points. I think your uh, structuring of the sections, and then you had subheadings, and then you had information. I think it's really good. Um, I see that there's consistency in those. So each one has sections, subsections and then uh, documents. Maybe one question I have for you, uh, Hermias, is would you be willing to just share a link to your document posted in day four? Because I think you have a good, uh, a good structure that other people could follow and perhaps uh, benchmark for, I believe we have a report due today as well. Uh, but yeah, if you'd be willing to share that. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, just post the PDF in day four. And if anyone has questions, they can have a look. But just for everyone, I think this is, yeah, it's a good example. The information is well presented. The hierarchy is consistent. Uh, it's pretty skimmable. I think we could, a diagram would help, the executive summary would help. But yeah, given the amount of time you had, it's really super. All right, any, uh, so just to summarize in case anyone joined late. So we have the schedule that's posted today. We have our next tutorial starting in 21 minutes. Um, the hand-ins, we have everything which that's due today, 8 p.m. UTC. Um, we will communicate, and that includes, there's a change. Um, the idea is to change the world exercise. Had been meant to be handed in tomorrow. We've moved that up to today um, based on a request from the group. Um, and we will come back to you on this. We may be able to extend the hand-in deadline, which will pull push back the time that the leaderboard is submitted. We'll come back to you on that. Um, yeah, otherwise, uh, we this is the last day of our uh, week zero intensive training. The, we have two tutorials today and a community building session. We encourage you to take part. Uh, next week, we'll have uh, interviews, and then the training starts on the, and this when I get the date, right, the 22nd of April, uh, 2022. So that's going to be the first day of the training. Um, we want every single person uh, to be able to be admitted to the training, so we're not trying to exclude anyone. Uh, what we heard today is that a lot of people have put a lot of work in, and they've learned uh, quite a bit. My encouragements to you remain, um, ask questions to the group. So let's imagine that this was not a remote training, but rather everyone sitting in the same room. And instead of you going and suffering by yourself uh, on the internet, if you were in the same room as other people, then you'd probably just look around, ask your neighbor, take a walk, and be like, you know, hey, can anyone give me a hand with this? So we would like to simulate that uh, in this online environment. 
with that, uh, I think we're done with the stand-up for today. So we'll see you in 20 minutes uh, at the first tutorial. But wishing everyone really a wonderful day. Thank you.